My name is Joseph Navarro, and my company is called The Education Planners. I'm the executive director and founder of The Education Planners. My position at The Education Planners is at, uh, as the founder, um, what I do is I reach out to schools and universities and I ask them if they need help working with their students um, in regards to helping them plan uh, their education and careers. So if I'm working with high school students, I basically take them through a, a process of exploring who they are, number one. Number two, what are they good at? And number three, how can they use their God-given skills to create a career? Um, if we're talking about an adult who's already maybe in college or transitioning from one job to the next, then we talk about transition, uh, we talk about skills that are transferable to different career set, to different career industries. Um, and then I also teach parenting classes as well, because I found out that when I work with youth, no matter how much I work with a student, um, it takes support from the household to launch that student farther. Um, so if I create a plan for a student, um, it takes the household to agree to that plan, like the mother, the father, the guardian, to then launch that student further um, so that they could accomplish their personal and professional goals. Um, my background is kind of interesting because I did not graduate middle school or high school. I got a GED when I was 20 years old and I realized that I had to do something with my life um, or else I was just going to be um, stuck, you know, and it may be a dead end job or, or doing a career that I didn't really love. And because of my experiences, I created the education planners so that I can help other young people and adults who felt the same way that they had something to give something more and they weren't able to do that or find out what their passions are. So that's why I created the education planners um, to help people um, launch. So once I got my GED, I ended up enrolling in junior college uh, at College of the Desert, which is in Palm Springs, and I failed miserably. <laughs> I didn't know uh, the simplest things about studying, doing homework, turning in assignments, but I began to work on it and ask questions. And I began to ask students that were getting A's in the class, how did you get A's? And they would tell me, um, I would study, they would, they would tell me about time management. And so I learned these skill sets. And a lot of it comes down to time management. So people always tell me, Mr. Navarro, how did you, how were you able to continue your education? You're, you must be so smart. And I always say, no, it doesn't take smarts. What it takes is time management. Any of us can do it. All it takes is managing your time. Um, so that's really the key component. So after I went to College of the Desert, I transferred um, to East Los Angeles College. Um, and then I, I wasn't getting F's and D's anymore. I was getting A's and B's. I graduated from East LA College and went to UC Irvine as a transfer student. I graduated from UC Irvine with a bachelor's degree in English literature. Um, more recently, I completed my master's degree in education with a concentration in school counseling, and I enrolled into my doctorate of education program. So in two and a half years, I'll be Dr. Navarro. And that's pretty amazing because a lot of people like me um, who didn't graduate middle school or high school, a lot of people, um, they, they don't pursue higher education. Um, so I, I think it's really important to understand where you fit in, what you can give to society, and, and hopefully make a career out of your passion. So I have advice for students. So number one, I want students to think about what they're good at. What are their God-given gifts? A lot of times when I'm working with students and I ask them, what are your skills? Like, what are your transferable skills to what job? They say, oh, I'm not good at anything, Mr. Navarro. But that's not true because we're all born with gifts, whether that's running fast or drawing or good at math, or maybe you're a good speaker. Everybody has a talent and a gift that we could make into a career. And it just takes time to think about what you're good at and what careers will those skill sets fit into. So that's my advice. Just think 
what am I good at and how could I make that a career? And hopefully, ideally, in a perfect world, what, you're, what you love to do, what you're passionate about, will become your career. And that's not to say, and a lot, this is a misconception, a lot of young people think that they have to choose one career and that's what you're gonna do your entire life. Well, that might be the case and that's okay. But for the majority of um, us, um, we're going to pick a career as a starting point and then we'll move, we'll move um, throughout your lifetime to different careers. Um, you know, I've worked with adults who maybe you're a trucker and now you wanna be a teacher or maybe you're a nurse and you wanna be a policeman now. So just be patient with yourself. Number one, be patient with yourself. Understand that change is normal. Change is natural. Your, your interests will change. Maybe you'll be in a career for five years and you'll say, nah, I wanna do this or, or I wanna change to that. And that, that also lends to like when you go to college as well, for those of you who are gonna go to college, we know that the average college student changes their major three times. So just be aware that change is inevitable you're going to change as you change embrace it one thing i would i would say is don't be one foot in in the door and one foot out the door if you change be committed to that change don't be 50 50 be 100 percent committed to whatever it is that you're doing so that you could become an expert in that thing and that's another piece of advice that i'll share i always tell young people no matter what you do become an expert in something whether it's playing the guitar cooking drawing playing basketball playing soccer Dedicate yourself to that one thing and you will become an expert. After 10 years of doing that one thing, you are considered an expert. You can now teach people how to do it. So that's a little bit of advice that I would give to young people. Be passionate about what you do. Always explore yourself first and see gaps in society. If you wanna fill those gaps with your skill sets, that's something you can look at too.